Welcome. In today's video, we're going to be creating a solar charger setup that should work with any overlanding rig and should cost right around $100. So stay tuned. So to be honest with you, this setup will cost more than $100 if you don't have the solar panel yet. But it really depends on which style solar panel you want. If you want a rigid style that you can mount to like your roof rack or to the top of your camper or trailer, the one in the top left will be perfect for you. Or if you want to mount one to like your hard shell tent or just have a lightweight one that you can, you know, lean against a tree or anything like that, the one in the top right will be good for you. That's a flexible style. Or the one in front is about one of the most popular styles. That is just the solar suitcase style that folds up real small so you could store it in your vehicle. And I will have links to all three of these down below. Now that we've gone over every style of solar panel and you know which one you want, I'll show you the rest of the stuff you will need to finish this solar charger. The first thing is the Renogy 10 amp Wander solar charge controller. Since the biggest panel we have right now is a 100 watt panel, this 10 amp controller should be more than enough. Then I do have two 3 foot solar panel extenders that I will show you what to do with later on in the video. Then right here, I do have more solar panel extenders. This is a 15 footer, but I will have a link down to a 20 footer down below in the description, just so you have more freedom with the length of wire. And I did put alligator clips on here and you guys will know why later in the video. Then if you did choose the flexible style solar panel, you will need this adapter. This is an eight millimeter. That will, you, that will go with one of those many adapters that came with the panel to standard solar panel connectors. Now that we've gone over all this stuff, let's build our solar charger and uh, see if it works. So the first thing we're doing is we took the three foot extenders out of the package and I put the black one onto the negative, obviously, and the red one onto the positive. So we will know when we cut these ends off and put them inside the charge controller. And realistically, this setup should work for just about any style of battery that you're having in your rig, either a dual battery setup or a single battery setup, just because of the alligator clips. You clip these right onto the terminals and it should work just fine. And the great thing about this charge controller is it does work with just about every style of battery. It works with deep cycle batteries, like our yellow top Optima under the hood, gel batteries, flooded batteries, and even lithium batteries. So it doesn't really matter which style battery you have underneath the hood or in your rig. With these alligator clips, those will clip onto any terminal on the battery, and then you could set this to any style battery that you have, and this should be an effective charging solution. All right, now that I've gone over that, I'll chop these ends off and get them stripped out. And then I will put them inside of the charge controller. And then we'll move on to the next step. And now that we're done with this setup on the battery side of the charge controller, let's get started on the panel side of the charge controller and uh, get that put in here and cut up. And then we should be pretty much ready to test. And what I like about this is this is the adapter for the eight millimeter for the suitcase style panel. But if you do not go with that style panel, this is just the standard adapters for solar panels. So realistically, you could start off with this style if you already have a standard solar panel style of adapters. And then if you go to a suitcase style solar panel or anything with the eight millimeter plug or adapter, you could just buy this adapter and it'll work. So this should realistically work with pretty much every solar panel style that you have now or in the future. Now that we've gone over that, I will chop these ends off and it will go into the solar panel side of the charge controller. All right, so I have all of our leads hooked up, the two that are coming in from the panel and the two that are going out to the battery. So we are Pretty much on the home stretch of this, you guys. Uh, give these a pull, make sure they are in there tight. And then occasionally I would go over these with just a little baby screwdriver to make sure all of these are snug. 
But now that we are done, let's get everything set up and let's see how it goes. All right, you guys, let's see how it goes. I will set all of this down right here. Might drag on the ground a little bit, whatever. But I will get these put onto the battery so that the charge controller will turn on. We'll get this on there just right. Let's see what it says. Awesome. It looks like it's reading correct and showing all of our battery specs. So, sorry about that. Get those cleaned off and let's get these connected. And it's showing zero load going in. So we'll get these connected up. And awesome. It is a uh, charging. Wow. Perfect. And what's great about this is the this menu is extremely easy to go between which style battery you have. But now that we have everything connected and it looks like the charge controller is working, let's uh check our voltmeter in the back of the Jeep. And as you can maybe see on there, our voltmeter is going up. I'll cover that. It says 12.98 volts right now but it is slowly climbing 12.99 and it should go over 13 any second now. And with that charge controller, it should safely charge our yellow top Optima underneath the hood. So we do not damage that battery just by hooking the alligator clips straight up to it. And what's great about this setup is as your overlanding skills grow or your gear grows, you can expand on this with larger charge controllers, waterproof ones, anything like that, or longer wires, pretty much anything. But with that charge controller, the cost is low. And honestly, with this whole setup, the cost is low. So you have a cheap solar setup that should keep your batteries alive for a long time. And I will have links to all of this down below so you can uh, easily build your own kit and, uh, you know, keep your batteries going and keep your fridge and all of your accessories charged. All right, here is the charge controller at work. It will any second now go to the voltage of our battery. It's saying it's right around 13 volts with 2.7 amps going in. So it, this charge controller is more than enough for the 100 watt Devos outdoor panel. And uh, honestly, I'm extremely happy with this so far. Um, it looks like it will keep our yellow top Optima alive for a long time. And the great part about it is I do have that Blue C Systems connector underneath the hood. So it will automatically connect while we are driving. So I don't have to worry about any solar while we are driving down the road. We just have this uh, charge controller with the solar panel set up while we are at camp for long periods of time or uh, even overnight. And the whole reason I went with these alligator clips was so that, you know, any vehicle we take out camping, so if we do get another rig or even start car camping because of gas prices, uh, this will work with it. So we can use any accessories in the vehicle and we don't have to worry about killing our main starter battery or our, or our auxiliary battery. So honestly, I think this is a cheap and easy setup that anybody could use if they're running a dual battery or single battery setup just to keep their starter battery charged or auxiliary battery charged with a solar panel without frying it. So you can uh, not worry about if your vehicle will start the next day or while you're running your fridge or any of your accessories. And the only difference is you can uh, disconnect these to run a standard style solar panel. So this whole setup 
will work with just about any solar panel style. But on that note, I really want to thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Hope you guys have a good one. I'll see you in the next video. And if you do have any tips or tricks for anybody else watching this video, comment down below. If not, please give us a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, you guys.